Now I'd like to tie for you another of the classic Catskill ties. And this is the Catskill Cat Whisker. The hook I have in a vise is a two extra long dry fly hook. This is a size 12. I'm going to use black thread and this is 70 denier 8 aught. I'm going to attach the thread behind the eye and I'm going to come back halfway with it. Keep that thread at 45 degree angle. And I'm going to bring it halfway forward. And that's going to be where we put our wing on. Now for our wings we're going to use a matched pair of mallard wing quill. We're going to touch the hook shank with the mallard. Poke the hole, poke the point through, and that's going to be the size of our wing. We're going to take the other, and we're going to do the same. Touch the shank, poke, push the hook point through, and that's the size of our wing. We're going to place them back to back, and you get that natural curve. And that natural slant to the wing, we want that on top. We're going to tie these in forward. We want them to be the length of the hook shank. I'm going to take a loose loop, take another loose loop, and pull that straight down. And you can see the wings pop up. Pull that tight and then wrap backwards. If you go forward you're going to twist the wing around going to take the cut that off at an angle I twist my thread and counterclockwise so that I can get a better flat thread and it will put on a better coverage keeping that body uniformly flat I'm going to go ahead and give it one more twist and I'm going to bring the thread back to where it would hang at the barb now for the tail this is a blue dun hackle and I got this from the top of the rooster cape. You get nice, long, stiff fibers there. We're going to take this off for the tail. Try not to handle them too much because you'll mess them up. And we want that to be the length of the body. I'm going to go ahead and trim a little bit of that. we're going to tie them in try to maintain a nice level body go ahead and give it a wrap underneath the tail I'm going to spin my thread counterclockwise once again. Make that thread nice and flat so I don't get big bumps. And bring that forward. And we're going to stop slightly behind the wings. Now for our body, I have a number 14 gold and silver tinsel. And I'm going to tie it in with the silver side showing because we want our body to be gold. And I made that tag go right up to the wing. I'm going to give it a quick half hitch. I'm going to move my 
Bob and Cradle. I'm going to attach my hackle pliers and I'm going to wind the tinsel to the rear and then back forward. You want to keep pretty good tension on there. You want to wrap that tight. Be a little bit careful around that hook point. Get that right to the tail. And then you can come forward with it. I'm going to extend this. And we're going to bring that forward. I used a size 14 on this one on the previous fly I used a size 16 and what I found out was it's easier to use the size 14 cover just a little bit more and we're going to tie that off and go ahead and remove the excess tinsel move up to the wings I'm going to grab these and you don't want to do too much moving around with these wings we're going to wrap in front and I'm wrapping right up against the wing and I squeezed them together I'm just going to take my bodkin needle and carefully open them up See if I can marry them back together right there. There we go. Pretty good. Now I'm taking a pair of rooster hackle. And this is these are blue done. And I trim the edge. And we're going to tie these in first. I'm going to tie them in the back. And I'm going to make sure that I leave a little bit of the trim section exposed. Then I'm going to move it forward. Be careful handling that wing. And we'll build up a little bit in the front so that we don't have a big step from back to front. There we go. We got nice divided wings. Now we're going to take the hackle. I, they're both the same size. So I'm going to wrap them at the same time. And they're of decent size. Let me back that off there just once. There we go. Yep. That second one just wants to. There we go. You want it to split on me there. You got to be a little bit careful. There we go. Now when we get to the wing, we're going to touch the wing one more time. Hold them back. We're going to rub the hackle up against the wing. And we're going to continue our wraps. And that will be sufficient. I'm going to tie them off there. Put a few wraps right in front. And then we can remove the excess hackle. And now we can tie off the head. I don't want to touch the wing again, so I'm going to go ahead and trim these off. You can put a very thin layer of head cement on your wings before you, but very thin. 
and let them dry before you go tying. I'm going to tie off the head. Take our whip finish. And here we have the classic Catskill Cat's Whisker. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friend. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.